Hey everyone, got a hot sauce here to do. It's a uh, Melinda's original habanero pepper sauce, the Chipotle version. Uh, gonna give it a test, see what we think about it. Take off the lid, shake it up real good. Supposed to be pretty thick in the bottle. Kind of clumpy. That's a word. That little stopper on it kind of gets in the way for this particular application. Hmm. Smells a little smoky. Um. See what we got going on here. Alright. Yeah, definitely got some chunks in it. And without further ado, let's check this out. Hmm. Kind of a, not just a vinegar flavor, but like a citrus. It's a kind of a flavor to it. It tastes of Chipotle. A little bit of a smokiness to it. Not much, but a little bit. Um. Really, any kind of a heat, really. A little bit, but kind of a traditional type of heat. Kind of up front. Don't taste like it's really, well, it's starting to build a little bit. It looks like there's chunks in it. Mm. Alright, let's see what we got naturally hot. Melinda's is famous for its all-natural balance of heat and flavor. And saliva's. Whew. Our original chipotle pepper sauce recipe blends habaneros and smoking hot chipotle chilies with fresh carrots, onions, garlic, and a hint of lime juice for a truly fiery taste. Enhances the original flavor of your food without overpowering. All natural with fresh ingredients, no artificial preservatives or colors, gluten free, and no, no GMOs. Um, let's see, the ingredient list Chipotle peppers, choice red habanero peppers, fresh carrots, garlic, onions lime juice, vinegar, and salt. It's not a very salty sauce at all. Um, probably even, it probably, in my opinion, could probably use a little bit more salt, but um, the taste of chipotle peppers um, got a little bit of a hint of uh, that habanero build. Definitely not a sauce to be afraid of. Um, This would be good on like, like down in South Louisiana here. We, you know, a lot of our stuff is like rice and gravies and stuff like that. Um, it would be good as an addition to anything like that. Maybe a soup. Uh, those eating on a budget, I would imagine that uh, this would uh, work good with like seasoning up some ramen noodles or something like that. Like I said, and that of course is if you're not really interested in, you know, blasting your taste buds. Um, it's not a very hot sauce. It's a, it's a tasty sauce. Um, 
I appreciate the fact that it is a chipotle sauce and the first ingredient listed is chipotle peppers thank you Melinda's for that that's a, that's a peeve of mine it's like this is a habanero sauce super hot and blah blah and habaneros are like the fifth ingredient listed and that always bugs me or if they say that and then of course one of the main ingredients that they got listed is extract. It's like, well, kind of like the taste of chili itself. Um, it's a tasty little sauce. Um, I like it. I'll definitely get some use out of it. Like I said, I'll probably use it in uh, some soups and stuff, maybe to doctor up dishes. More of a, I think I'll find this to be used more as a condiment. Than a, no, not a condom. Um, that would be rough. Uh, you know, something just to put on the table, have sitting there for the guests to use if you know if they so choose. And uh, it's one of my first uh, Melinda's um, product test. And uh, anyway, it's uh, it's good. I like it. You know, uh, now we're what? Just under five minutes into it, and um, it's got a nice habanero warmth going on in my mouth. It's, it never did blast me, but uh, you can tell it's got habs in it because of the way it kind of builds, the heat builds. My mouth is just kind of warm all over, not really hot, um, but. Uh, Actually, I like this kind of a burn, actually. I mean, nice, well-rounded, you know. It's, it's not just blasting the back of my throat or blasting my lips or blasting my tongue. It's kind of just all around, about the same warmth. Uh, well-rounded uh, sauce. I could see myself using this uh, product quite a bit. Like I said, it's like sitting out there like you would use, like, Tabasco sauce or something like that. Um... Or just any traditional type sauce, but uh, tell you what, uh, Melinda's. I'm looking for their website. Here it is, Melinda's.com. That's easy enough. Or one eight hundred eight eight six six three five four. They said they'd love to hear from you. So, um, kind of tapering off. It's really the heat's pretty much subsiding, pretty good now. It's about gone. Um, you want a good roll round at Chipotle sauce, and uh, they, they they pretty much identify it pretty well. You want a pretty, you want a well rounded Chipotle sauce that isn't going to overpower your food, but you'll know that the sauce is there. Gives it, you know, give it a little more body as far as a little different flavor profile and everything. Uh, give this stuff a shot. Um, I've seen it in a lot of different places. I think I picked this up at uh, either Albertsons or Calvin's or one of the or Walmart. It, it was it was just a regular standard grocery store. It wasn't a specialty store or anything. So chances are it's pretty easy to get a hold of. But um, anyway, uh, hope you liked the review. This is going to open up my uh, Melinda's taste test uh, playlist. Uh, starting off with. Chipotle and I'm sure uh, many of you will um, name some other Melinda product, Melinda's products that uh, y'all would like me to try out if uh, if you wish me to do so feel free to uh, comment and uh, I'll see about getting around to it but um there you have it Melinda's original habanero pepper sauce the Chipotle version I guess you call it. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video and uh, the taste test and uh, I will be catching up with y'all later.